How often should you pay your investors? That's a question that a lot of promoters have. Uh, they wonder if it's in the operating agreement. They wonder if there's a certain set of rules, if the government has rules. Uh, and here's the answer. It's pretty simple, but actually there's a little bit under the, under the, under the covers that you need to understand. Number one, uh, there are no rules. You set the rules in your operating agreements, so when you're setting your business rules up and you're setting up your deal, you're gonna lay that out. Most of the time, there's a preferred return. Uh, let's say it's 8% a year, and you can pay that out any way you want. You can pay it out quarterly. Uh, 8% would be uh, 2% a quarter, and then if there's a bonus, you might pay that out uh, right around the time of the tax return, let's say at the fifth quarter. So let's say you paid every quarter, uh, the first quarter of the next year might include the bonus from the previous year. Uh, but one thing important to understand is the amount that you pay to your investors has nothing to do with how much they get taxed on. If you pay them zero, they could still be taxed on, on the amount of money that the partnership, or the LLC makes during the course of the year because it's a pass-through entity and that pass-through is going to require that each person gets a percentage of the income according to their percentage of ownership. So if the deal makes $100,000 and you have uh, 10 people and each one is 10%, they're going to get a 10% of that $100,000 or $10,000 assigned to them on their tax return, whether you pass out the $10,000 or not. So we always build in a special provision where we guarantee to pass out at least 45% of whatever profit the deal makes because if you don't pass out the money, then you could be inadvertently creating a capital call to your investors. Let's say that you didn't pass out any money and they got a $10,000 tax hit, uh, not tax amount, but a, a profit that they had to pay tax on. They would then have to write the government a check for some number of dollars based on that $10,000 in profit. You force them into a capital call situation that they did not voluntarily ask for because you kept those profits for yourself to be able to reinvest and, and continue working on your deal. So for investors, it's very unfriendly not to include some mandatory distribution of profits. Now, if there's no profits and there's nothing to distribute, you can pass out 100%, you can pass out as low as 45%, at least according to the rules that we set up. And we do that very deliberately and we do it with, uh, with great consideration. Now, how else do you pay the money? You might pay once a year, you might pay quarterly with the bonus in the last quarter. There are some people though that pay every single month. Why? Because they want to touch their investors more often because the more often they touch the investors, the more often they can brag about how terrific they're doing and they can market to them and they can ask for referrals. So uh, there's a logic, it's more of a marketing logic, but there's a logic to how you pay out your money. And you might want to think carefully about that as you're getting ready to do yours. So if you have questions, send them over. In the meantime, uh, this is a great business, so go out and stake your claim.